Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out here for another gear review, and today we're talking optics. This one right here by Arcan Optics it is their EP4 4 16 by 50 millimeter first focal plane. What do all those words mean? Well, the EP4 is just the model number from Arcan Optics. The 4 to 16 basically goes from 4 power, crank this thing all the way up to 16 power, 50 millimeter dimension of this lens up here and then first focal plane meaning that as we increase magnification the reticle inside there gets bigger conversely reduce magnification it gets smaller so that all the subtensions which are in mils in this optic basically stay the same you can use your holds in it regardless of what magnification you're on versus something like a second focal plane this optic uses their epr mil reticle with mill based subtensions for ranging holdovers as well as wind corrections going from a low magnification of four power up to a max magnification of 16 power as i mentioned the scope's objective diameter is 50 millimeter with eye relief between 3.94 and 3.35 inches field of view at 100 yards is approximately 31 feet to 8 feet depending on magnification. And the tube size is 34 millimeters. The adjustments are in 0.1 mil radians and there is a built-in zero stop. Elevation, approximately 32 mils of adjustment with windage, approximately 10 mils of adjustment. Total length is 12.2 inches with a weight of 32.3 ounces. One of my favorite things about this optic is how clean and distinct the clicks are. When you adjust it, you can hear them, you can feel them, and then of course you can undo these screws around the turrets and float your rings. And also up top here you can adjust for your zero stop. Same goes with your windage, super clean and distinct. This also uses their ED glass extra low dispersion, giving you a really clean, crisp image looking through the optic. Which brings me to how have I used this? Well, I've shot it a lot. I've had it probably coming up on like two years now and shot on a number of different guns. And actually last year as of filming this, I guess end of October 2020, I had this mounted on this gun, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, and was down elk hunting. There I was, the very last day of the season, and creeping towards the end of shooting light, getting close to sunset. Saw an elk out there, ended up stalking, finally making my shot off of a tripod about 420 yards. I was able to do that because I was confident and competent in that having already shot and zeroed this with the ammunition I was using, I knew it was grouping about one MOA. And on top of that, being able to, having already basically proven out this gun with that ammo and this optic, as far as what I need to dial to hit at different yard lines, felt really confident. And consequently, I ended up bringing down a awesome cow elk and been eating on that for the last number of months. And this optic definitely lent itself to that. The fact that when you actually dial this, the input goes into it. You're not having to like tap turrets, hoping that it's now whatever you actually dialed it to. That's pretty huge and a big part when it comes to confidence of being able to take longer shots, ethical shots when hunting. Also use this actually at a three day mid-range rifle course with Thunder Ranch. Amazing course down there. Actually snowed a bunch, but did a really good job. We did a lot of dialing, and also we ended up doing holds. So using this reticle and holding under, as well as holding over. I will say for me personally, in this reticle, holding under, I guess, I don't find it super conducive. It's definitely easier to hold over, but I don't know. Part of it is just learning it and getting familiar with it. And to the end of the reticle, depending on what you're used to, it can be busy. I will say, again, once you actually learn it, you can do pretty much all of your work inside it. But it's a matter of, does it work for you or not? What are my thoughts on the Arcanoptics EP4 4-16? Honestly, I think 
I think it's a great optic. I really like these distinct clicks. A lot of times you do not get that, even in some higher priced optics. And this retails for about 600 bucks. I think there's definitely a lot of value in there. Glass, nice and clear, distinct adjustments. And what I usually tell anyone with respect to optics, look at the reticle. There's some amazing reticles out there, but if you don't know how to use them, then it doesn't really matter. And to that end, if this is a reticle that you would actually like to learn how to use, you can do a lot of work in it, and I think it's really valuable, but if you don't like the reticle, the reticle's still there. So largely, I usually recommend people actually buy optics based on the reticle, and then once you've been like, hey, I like this, it's usable for me, I'm willing to learn it, then yeah, then you start looking at the other features. Is there any downsides to this? It's kind of heavy, like 32 ounces. That's pretty heavy. But depending on what type of gun it's going on, if you're hiking this thing in the mountains or if you're shooting off a bench, that may or may not matter to you. But overall, I've been really pleased with this optic. And if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. One of the ways you can do so is supporting me directly through Patreon, little as a dollar a month, get early access to videos, and in addition to that, we have an active Discord over there. If you have questions for me, happy to answer them. Probably not in the comments section, but over on our Discord, you can answer all those questions. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.